Uh, hello everyone and welcome back. So we will be continuing with our previous lesson and on the previous lesson we have studied about the uh, uh, basic of dynamic AX history and also uh, basic about uh, dynamic AX architecture of three tire application and in this video we will go and see about the uh, dynamic AX uh, function and let's just go and open our client. And so when you open a client for dynamic x and let will drag it up so on the left hand side what you see over here what we call as a module there are a lot of modules that you can see over here and on this side what you can see is a content pan so which is what we call as a content pan area so these are the section of the content pan, common journal, uh, reporting, setups, inquiries, and periodic. So as I have mentioned in my previous videos, there will be ERP system, which is what we call as a price resource planning. And in uh, what why we call as enterprise resource planning because. The software that we are going to use as an ERP will contain all the options, uh, all the functionality that uh, you will be needing to manage your organization. Uh, so let's say you are to manage your accounting, your sales, your uh, warehouse, your inventory. So all of these options are included in a single package of a software that is called as an ERP. So you can see all the options over here, general ledger. Uh, account payable, receivable, your inventory, your sales. So all of these options that are included in a single package. So that's why uh, what we call as an ERP. So let's say uh, this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is a module. There are a lot of modules on uh, uh, Dynamic X. And here what we can see is the first arrow button if you click on it you can see a drop down list where you can see a lot of this is a company so in dynamic age you can create a multiple companies uh, to maintain in a single uh, ERP system so, let's just, you know, you know, so here you can see a lot of companies that has been created in a dynamic age so which is uh, very useful like in one organization may have a reference company let's say uh, you have a uh, one organization called uh, organization a and let's say that organization may have a uh, different companies uh, maybe one have a manufacturing company and one is in marketing company and uh, one is in virtual so one organization may have a different company so in order to maintain uh, this, this, this uh, all kind of uh, different uh, companies so you no need to maintain uh, different software and different application for you so, uh, you just can maintain all of these in a single single uh, application so dynamic x has this uh, functionality and on the here so we can select the second arrow at the second arrow is over here and which from where we can select all of the uh, module so sales and marketing warehouse uh, inventory human resources uh, these are all the modules and in the third is then area so this is a similar area is this one uh, this area and we can drop it down from here and we just go and look more about the area on it so this is a common area and this is a journal and reports setups and inquiries and periodic so uh, which this is area of a content pen so uh, this actually what as a developer what we need to know is and 
when you develop a certain forms or when you develop certain reports so where you actually need to put it so your functional uh, consultant or your functional uh, department people will evaluate your business process and they will let you know where, where actually you should um, put put the certain reports or uh, certain forms so as a developer you should uh, take a note on on a when you create a report you should not put it in a, let's say you created one report but instead of putting in the report area you just put it in the common area so that does not make any sense so when you create a report so you must put it in a report area and when you develop a form so this main area you can put it over here so this is a setup area so where all the functionality of the or the setup that particular area is going to particular module so let's select an account payable so account payable means that you are going to pay for what you purchase or for your service uh, so this area containing account, account payable so here is a setup for so this is a setup area for account payable so each and every module have their own setup area so where you can set up uh, how the, how the particular module is going to process it and so i think guys uh, this is a uh, um, much for today's video so uh, we'll on the next video we'll actually go and uh, look on the backend area and how to access a uh, development area so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, thank you and thank you for watching